Hello, I'm High Heel Knight. Welcome to my channel. This is my miniature movie review of Overcome. It is the sixth movie from the Kendricks Brothers. It is a Christian faith drama. Alex Kendrick plays Coach John Harrison. He is the basketball coach of a Christian high school. He had an amazing previous season and he's gearing up for an excellent uh, season coming forward. But during the summer, the major uh, factory in town uh, shuts down and moves these operations elsewhere. So many residents of the town uh, also move, either following their jobs or just trying to find work in other places. This leaves the school with less uh, students, which means there's less players on his basketball team. So the coach is not only left with the, the an, an unideal basketball team, but he also has to take on several other uh, teaching duties around the school, including becoming the coach of the cross-country racing program. And to make meetings even more frustrating, there's only one person that even bothered to try out for cross-country running. Uh, that person, her name is Hannah, and she has asthma. So things are not really going swimmingly well for uh, Coach Harrison. Hannah herself, she's a nice gal, but uh, her parents have died. She lives with her grandmother. She's sort of a, a loner, and she, you know, she's just going through life just day by day, not not, not, not necessarily, uh, again, not a bad kid, but just not really looking forward to anything else. But, you know, with running, she finds some uh, goodness in, with running. So the coach and the young lady, they get to know each other, and through uh, various trials and tribulations, uh, their faith in God is reaffirmed and restored, and they both come out much better. Now, yes, technically that's a spoiler, but this is a Christian drama. <laughs> you know, you know uh, things are usually going to work out pretty well for everyone involved when it comes to Christian uh, films. And that leads into what I liked about this movie. Because it takes place in a Christian community with a uh, Christian high school, it makes a lot of sense when folks actually start talking about God and Jesus and faith and all that other stuff. That's the, really the tough thing when it comes to these uh, religious movies. you got to talk about the religious stuff but how can you really fit it into a conversation that feels natural? So on that front, it went really well. But on the flip side, one of the conversations in this movie, which has nothing really to do with faith or God, just falls flat. Uh, the coach and his wife get into an argument, and the initial argument is troublesome at best with uh, the dialogue between them. But when they make up, it's even worse. I just hated that scene. I, it was just terrible. I couldn't believe a single word coming out of the wife and the way they made it. I was just like, I, I, I would have just shot this very, very differently. That's one of the few really, uh, what I would consider bad parts about the movie. Uh, as for the rest of it, there were a couple of things that uh, slightly frustrated me, but not too uh, bad. For instance, Hannah, uh, as she gets better with her running, uh, she starts getting uh, support from some of the students and they come to our, our rallies and like cheer for her and things like that. And normally that'd be wonderful, but I'm thinking, when did she become friends with these people? At no point in the whole movie does she interact with any other students besides the coach's uh, two sons. So yeah, the coach's eldest son knows some of the other teenagers, maybe he encourages them to come see the uh, running meet, but still it's just like, yeah, Hannah, go ahead, oh, you can do it. It was like, your friends? When did this happen? <laughs> and another thing that slightly frustrated me, and there's this trope called the, uh, four seasons known as the magical mystical Negro. That's when a uh, lead protagonist, usually white, meets a, a supporting character, usually black, but it could be just about any minority, but it's usually black. And that supporting character has some type of special skill or knowledge or ability or and just comes into the person's life out of bizarre circumstances and helps uh, uplift and raise and uh, help the uh, white protagonist triumph. You'll see this in like The Green Mile or Happy Gilmore or in uh, 
Kevin Costner's and Terry Erickson's versions of the Robin Hood mythos. <laughs> so I was a little nervous that that seemed to be where the movie is going. And it does tip its toe into a little bit, but uh, in this case, the uh, black person uh, fits in with the narrative a lot better and it felt a lot more organic, especially with the theme of uh, forgiveness and uh, you know reconnecting with faith and things like that. So it worked, it worked really well, but it was it, it dips its toe into that uh, trope. Another thing that it dips its toe into is trope. Uh, there's a drama teacher who might be gay. He's not outwardly gay or anything like that, but he has a lot of those gay tropes becoming the drama teacher, so, you know, so if the character is gay, you know, great, we got a gay character in a Christian movie, if the character's not gay, then, you know, you got to reevaluate what you think a drama teacher uh, is like. I took drama in court in, growing up in high school, and I had some teachers, none of them were like that. <laughs> so, yes, I did like this movie. I enjoyed it overall. It is a very nice, uh, uplifting, warming, uh, fantastic film. Uh, not the best dialogue, not the best acting, but still, it was enjoyable. It was nice. I liked it. I recommend Overcomer. And if you've seen the movie, I would love to know what you thought of the film. Be sure to share whatever comments you like in the comment section. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, or dislike, share, and subscribe. Once again, I'm High Heel Knight. Thank you for watching, and remember, find inspiration everywhere.